Let's get a quick take on the Denver Sheriff's Department announcing a new use of force policy that emphasizes several steps before implementing force, including using, quote, verbal judo with inmates. Patty Cahoon from Westward, uh, you're one of the smartest people I know. I know. What on earth is verbal judo? It's what we show off every week at this table. I actually have no idea, and I started Googling it because I love the idea that you're just going to take people down with your words. But as we've also shown at this table, it's not all that easy. Uh, it, this was a long wait for this. I've just started reading through it. It looks fairly reasonable. The six pages on dealing with animals is a little odd considering we're talking about the jails where there are not a lot of animals. but. The real question will be, how is it implemented? You're going to need a lot more than verbal judo to make sure everyone follows it. David Copel from the Independence Institute and DU Law School. What do you think of the new rules announced from the Denver Sheriff's Department? Well, judo is, is a martial art where you use a person's momentum to take them down. So they're coming at you, and rather than pushing back, you actually sort of move with them and, and direct their movement so that maybe they, you, they end up falling to the ground while they were coming at you. So verbal judo, for example, would be like somebody insults you and then you go, I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a, it sounds like an excellent strategy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, I, I, oh yeah, I, I, you got another point. Okay. E, 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 even though I don't th think verbal judo is the right term, I think I think Sheriff Patrick Furman, who I've had the chance to meet and talk with a little bit, mm. is a real corrections expert and a, a solid leader. And although that term wasn't the best uh, to use, I, I think his leadership is really important and is very likely going to be constructive. So I I think his his new program will succeed um, and we should give him a, a, a chance. Penn Tate joins us, uh, attorney with QTAC Rock, also a longtime state lawmaker. Um, so beyond the uh, use your words policy, do you see anything else here that is a good first step? I think use your words po policy is the entire step, first, second, third, and, 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 and last. Um, which is not to say it's a bad thing, uh, because the, the proof is going to be in the implementation and whether the sheriff's officers actually decide to comply with and follow it. Um, this is something that individual officers could have done for years, but chose not to, and it's because, as, as we've talked about many times at this table, there's a culture that exists in the sheriff's department. The question is going to be whether announcing this new policy is going to change the culture of the sheriff's department. That is, if they get buy-in from the rank and file officers to use their words instead of their nightclubs, their mace, their tasers, or, you know, sitting on someone until they choke to death. We'll see. Ed C. Levers here from the Denver Business Journal. What do you think of the reception of the announced rules? Well, I, I think the whole verbal judo thing is window dressing. I think that's a nice way of putting it out there and, and trying to tell the public we're going to use less force. The most important thing in the policy is the provision that if you use force, you must explain what you did to try to not use force and why you decided to use this in the end. That's actual accountability. That is making people think about their actions, justify their actions, and if they cannot justify their actions, then you can take a step against them. Um, you know, look, let's be honest, force is actually sometimes needed in dealing with inmates. Uh, but uh, the fact is, you know, this whole idea that we're going to talk them off the ledge, that's one thing. But making officers think about why they're doing things and justify them, that's a whole nother way to change uh, behavior.